Let's do a few examples of using power of a product. You may see directions that look like this. Simplify each expression. Write your answer in exponential notation. So let's say that our first problem is 3 to the 4th times 7 to the 4th. They want us to simplify this and write this in exponential notation. So using my power of a product property, which tells me that if I am looking at a product of two algebraic expressions raised to the same exponent, then I'm going to multiply the bases together. So my bases in this case are 3 and 7. So I'm going to take my 3, multiply it by 7, and I'm going to raise it to my common exponent, which was 4. So I have 3 times 7, which gives me 21, raised to the fourth. And that is my solution. Pretty simple. Let's do another one. Alright, so this time let's work with some fractions. So let's say I have a negative one-third raised to the fifth times a negative two-fifths raised to the fifth and I'm going to simplify this expression and then write my answer in exponential notation. So the same thing here go, holds true. I see that I am multiplying two algebraic expressions raised to a common exponent or to the same exponent. So I'm going to multiply my bases together. So my base here is a negative one-third. So I'm going to rewrite my first base as a negative one-third and my other base is a negative two-fifths and I'm going to raise it to my common exponent which is five to make multiplying my negative fractions easier I'm going to take out an, the negative from both fractions and then I can rearrange this or redistribute this so I have I can put my negative ones together and then I can look at my negative or sorry my one-third times my two-fifths oh I just realized I have an error up here I didn't want that negative sign up there Okay. All right, so when I'm multiplying my fraction, I'm going to get 1 times 2, because I'm going to multiply my numerators to get 2, and then multiplying my denominators, 3 times 5 gives me 15. Then looking at my negatives, my negative 1 times a negative 1 will give me a positive 1. And this is all raised to the fifth. 1 times 2 fifteenths is 2 fifteenths. Now remember, you can't forget your parentheses around the 2 fifteenths, otherwise it'll look like your exponent is only applied to the numerator. So I have my parentheses, and I've raised it to the fifth, and that is my solution. Let's do one final problem. All right, so let's say that I have a negative... 2.4 raised to the third times 0 0.5 raised to the third. So again, my power of a product property tells me that if I have, if I am multiplying two algebraic expressions raised to the same exponent, then I'm going to multiply my bases together. So let's take my bases. So I have the base of a negative 2.4 times 0 0.5. And I'm going to raise it to the common exponent 
of 3. So if I have a negative 2.4 times 0 0.5, that is going to equal a negative 1.2 raised to the third. And since this is raised to the third, when I multiply this, my solution is going to be negative. So my parentheses don't help me keep that um, to change it. So I can get rid of my parentheses if I would like to.